We recently showed you some amazing video, a man in a wingsuit flying through a hole in a mountain. He was traveling at speeds more than 150 miles an hour. And so we wanted to know how he did it. So we asked CBS this morning contributor Micho Kaku. He's a physics professor at the City University of New York. And the answer is a lesson in lift, control, and luck. To understand why what Alexander Pauli did was absolutely incredible, you have to understand the physics of why birds and airplanes can fly. Let's say, for example, that this is the cross-sectional area of an airplane wing or a bird's wing or Alexander Pauli's head and his wings. When air moves across in this direction, it creates a low pressure area behind the airfoil. Also, wind comes in from this direction, also giving lift in this way. So lift occurs because of the low pressure area behind the airfoil and because air hits the wing. Now notice that this is inherently unstable. If the wings start to rotate a bit, there's nothing to stop it from rotating in a complete circle. What is amazing about this feat is the control that Alexander Pauli had. He was coming at 155 miles per hour and hit a bullseye that's only six feet across. To do that, he had to do trial after trial after trial to make sure that he wouldn't splatter right on the mountaintop. By moving his arms and legs, he was able to control the very slight rotations that you get, which are very difficult to control. Birds, airplanes do it because they have a larger wingspan. He had a very small wingspan. Therefore, it takes small micro-movements of his hands and legs to get that precision that allowed him to go right through the bullseye. We're now going to have a test to see whether you can explain this back to me. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> well, at least know. now you know. Yeah, yeah. you know. I we thought are... I was done with physics class. Yes, I... <laughs> it has to do with currents and what else? And something else I won't be <laughs> yeah. trying.